Uh, welcome to a conversation with uh, Kyle, Laura, and Devin. Um, our topic today is going to be uh, technical skills that are in the workplace. Uh, but first, a little into little background information about us. Uh, I am in my fifth year of a stats major at University of Ottawa uh, with a minor in business management. I am also uh, been with the Canada Revenue Agency for about two and a half years as a uh, student analyst. And I'll pass it on to Laura. I'm Laura. I am also in my fifth year in financial mathematics and economics. And I've had four co-op terms, three of them with the government in data analytics, and one was uh, with a private company, Canadian Bank Note. And uh, Devin. <laughs> uh, so I'm Devin. I'm in my final year of a degree in statistics with a minor in management. And prior to that, I completed a degree in biomedical science. So my previous work history uh, this past summer, I worked at Scotiabank doing data analytics. And before that, I worked for the CBSA, the government, uh, also doing data analytics. And that was for about eight months. Uh, as previously mentioned, our, our topic for this video is technical skills in the workplace. Uh, so first question, I'll uh, hand over to, to Laura first. So what technical skills would you have you found to be the most or less useful in the workplace? Um, so for technical skills, I found that actually it depended on where and which department I was working. So the most important thing uh, for me, especially given that I had short term contracts, was learning the software that the company uh, was using very quickly. So that was the most important skill for me. So I used like a variety of, of softwares and stuff like that, but um, the, the key was to to be able to to quickly adapt and learn from it so i don't think there's like one specific skill but just a general ability to be able to uh, pick things up quickly yeah yeah some of the things i found and i'll get i guess a little bit more specific on actual tools that i've, I've found anyways in my experiences specifically just working with data one of the thing that one of the tools rather that comes up a lot is sql um, you know, you might not always have a database that uses SQL, um, but I found it's very common uh, just around. So picking up that language, uh, I felt was very useful as well. And then at a minimum, some kind of language to actually do something with the data you pulled to answer the questions that people want answered. And Python's probably the most common. That being said, it's by far not like necessarily the most comprehensive or the be all end all of, of that language you can do that um, r is very common as well some people even go as far as doing sas or tableau which is probably more for visualizations kyle what what uh, skills have you found technical skills that you found that are useful in the workplace well for me personally i agree with you like in using r has been all i've done for like uh, at my job and at school it's been the most useful the most impactful it's made life a lot easier for any type of um, work with data or any math uh, work. So that was definitely uh, something that I found very useful. Uh, another thing was um, this report writing. I find report writing is very important no matter where you go, whether it's with the government, whether it's with a private company. Uh, having that te the technical skills to properly write a report um, accurately and uh, with proper wording, proper grammar, and making it look nice as well presentable is very important in the workplace as well. Uh, moving on to our next question, I'll go back to, uh, to Devin. Uh, what skills have you learned or want to learn in the future in the workplace? Um, I think for myself, I'm very interested, especially when it comes to coding and picking up other languages. I like to see the full process of how things kind of work um, from like a data science perspective. It's not just like, getting the data or processing the data or cleaning it or you know analyzing it there's a whole range of, of, of things that go into um, an outputted result or the final result that you might hand off to a client um, so for me i've kind of just had experience not necessarily with actually like procuring the data um, besides like sql um, all the way up to like you know actually putting it into a report form is something i haven't done beyond this class uh, so something like like even Java, I know for data pipelines, that's a pretty common thing in the language I haven't had any um, work with, uh, but that's something I would look to uh, gain as a technical skill for myself going forward. Uh, Laura, what about you? 
Um, I think like for me, the most important thing is I uh, I don't have very good coding skills because I don't have any formal education or anything in it. So I've just picked up, just scrapping by. When they need me to pick it up, I'm picking it up. But I'd like to become more confident and stronger in that and really develop like a really good basis in, in that. So that's probably like when I when I graduate and I actually have free time, <laughs> that's kind of my, that's what I'd like to do. Um, and uh, so I think that's the most important for me. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle? Uh, for me, as I previously mentioned, um, R has been probably the most useful tool that I've ever like learned at work because it's, it's just everything I use. But I would, would like to like, expand my knowledge of different uh, tools to use. As, uh, you know, we use, uh, we use uh, SAS, SPSS, um, a couple of uh, tools as well that I'd like to expand my um, uh, my knowledge on. Um, I would also like to expand my knowledge on like the different types of data that is used at my work. Right there, I mostly do deal with stuff called um, um, electronic financial transactions. But you know, there's uh, so much data within like the uh, this like the Canada Revenue Agency that it's it's. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd, I'd love to get like more in depth and more background knowledge in those areas um, of the government of, the, of my section and learn to help contribute in those areas as well. Uh, our last question, yeah. based on the skills that you have learned and experienced thus far, would you go back in time before you started your undergraduate program to convince your past self uh, to switch into a different program? So I'll start with Laura. Uh, okay, for me, it's a no. I started off actually in political science when I was in first year, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I chose this program, Financial Mob, on a complete impulse. Just, I was like, oh, it'd be kind of fun. And I, that was a great decision. Okay, that was a great decision. I stand by it. I've learned a lot. I really like how, my program has elements of social science and business in it and also math and I, I like having a variety and so I found it interesting. It's pushed me a lot and I don't think that I would have found any other program as interesting as this so I'm glad. I'm glad about my choice and so I, I would stick with it but I feel like uh, maybe I'm uh, alone in that category. <laughs> How about you Devin? Uh, well, it's funny because I actually took a whole degree to figure out kind of what I wanted to do before I came in. So this, so this question is almost tailor made to like what I went through. I would say um, going into university, I was really good at like the sciences. That in high school, that's just like kind of what I did. Um, and biomedical science was like this open-ended program, kind of just like go do biology, chemistry, whatever. And I kind of near the end just realized like, oh, I had to do biostats. Um, took up a little bit of coding for an honors research project, used R for the kind of the first time. I was like, hey, like this stuff, I'm good at it and I enjoy doing it. Um, and from there, I came back and did a stats degree. And in terms of the stats degree, there's no way I would change that, doing that now, I've really enjoyed that. However, going back, um, I don't think I would change doing the biomedical science degree, especially given how much the landscape of like data science has changed over the past seven years. Um, if I look at what kind of people they were hiring in like 2015 when I started, it's a lot more engineers or like comp sci majors, not stats or math people. Um, and that was just because where it was at the time was they didn't really care about the math background. They just cared about the coding ability of the people to do like basic machine learning kind of stuff. And now that's shifted, you know, a lot more statistics majors and math majors are learning math, but they also have that math background um, which is kind of important, especially if you are looking for new innovative techniques and stuff like machine learning or AI or that it's all kind of predicated on math. So um, in that sense, I going back in time, I don't think I would be where I'm at right now back then, if that makes sense. No, not to mention that you, if you say you wanted to work in like, um, you know, agricultural Canada or something like that, having that extra science background just, you know, helps in like, you know, helps in so many different fields as well. Yeah. Uh, would you, Kyle? Would you change your your degree? I, I was a bit on the fence about this question. Like, I'll, I'll, I am not a fan of pure math. 
I like doing proofs and stuff I've never been a fan of, but the computational aspects of a stats degree has been amazing. I've, you know, all the, uh, the courses like, you know, I'm doing you know, statistics, uh, sampling, you know, sort of stuff like that have been very fun. I've definitely learned a lot from that. It's been the more enjoyable parts of my program. Um, so I, 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 I'd say, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence. Like, um, I need to sort of experience what it would be like to do a comp sci major because that'd be the only thing I'd sw like switch into. But um, from what I've gone through so far, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the program I'm, I've taken. It's led me to some great opportunities with work and um, from connections as well. But uh, yeah, so, say I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence a little bit with, uh, with if I had to go back in time or not. But I, I'm, I can't say that, you know, the, the path that I've chosen is wrong. I can't say that. Okay, well, I guess that concludes our a conversation with Thanks for listening. Thank you. See you guys.